This is a 2012 Lexus CT200H. For spark plug replacement on this model, they all should have the same engine. Everything should be the same. This is just a cover. They kind of see it, it's held on by little grommets. Get that out of the way, and you can see up in here. Let me get the light on. Yeah, your four spark plugs and uh, connectors for the coils. Pretty straightforward and simple. Let's do them one at a time. I would suggest you just take off one of the connectors first. Start with this one. It may be a two person, uh, not two person, but yeah, two hand job. I'll do it myself, but push down the tab far and, and pull straight out. Can't be holding the camera when I'm doing that. Yeah, I just have to put the camera down and it comes right off. Then you got a 10 millimeter bolt and let's start taking that off. This is actually the second time I've replaced these on this car. Let's be very careful you don't drop any parts in here. This is a very easy spark plug changing procedure compared to some other vehicles like V engines and things like that. So put this aside so you don't lose it. Then this, just be careful not to damage when we're doing them one at a time. For the spark plugs themselves, this is what I've got. Uh, I matched it all up on Amazon.com and put your vehicle number in to be sure. And of course, uh, for us to help us out, definitely please go to our nonprofit, aplantbaseddiet.org, click on giving and click on Amazon Smiles. That'll really help us out. Same prices for you. Let's open these up. Right, so we've got the four in here. It's just a standard. Sorry, there's are nuts falling. It's a, a single electrode plug. See if I can zoom in on that. Oh, you can see what it looks like here. These plugs are gonna require a 3 16 inch deep socket to get them off. So we're gonna go in there with our extension. This might be too long. Oh, it'll be all right, there we go. one seems to already be kind of loose be careful you don't I don't have a uh, the foam insert in here so you gotta be really careful you don't break the head off so use two hands which I'm gonna put the phone down so I can use two hands one on top of this and one to turn to hold it steady and straight then as long as you remember to lube up the threads which I always do with this straight oil I know you're not supposed to but it should be smooth you don't feel any coarseness like you do even though when they're brand new you feel coarseness taking them out for the first time but like i said i've done these before the hard part is going to be getting this thing out because they don't have the foam insert that's going to be the hard part oh actually i know the trick yeah see i can't get it out with this but here's the trick you take this and it's nice and tight on that and you just kind of gently put it in grab the plug and we went fishing for a spark plug. There it is. Here is this one compared to the new one. It's definitely worn down. And uh, what I would do is put it back in the box, label it with a Sharpie so you know the exact position, the exact cylinder this, this comes from, and you can keep a record and you'll have that in case you gotta look back into it. So I marked this one passenger side, then I'll mark the other one on the other side, driver's side, and the one in the middle either passenger middle or driver middle. So I'll know which, uh, which cylinder it's from. Here is my trick. This is it, uh, why I, the spark plug came out so easy and smooth, is you just put a little oil on the end of the threads so that when you screw it in, it works its way all the way up to the top. Just put a few drops uh, so that it's, it uh, circles around the top threads. See, and then I stick it in the cylinder and turn it down with the socket. Just kind of drop it into the cylinder is what I would do. 
not don't pull it, not don't put it in the way you took it out because you've got to have it gently drop it in and then gently thread it by hand with the uh, socket in there so gently drop it in and then gently get that socket in there and start turning it by hand making sure you don't cross thread it that's the only mistake you can make and we do not want you to make that mistake and it's almost tight i think and when it very smooth it's very smooth engagement when uh, everything's oiled up like that then we just tighten it down, torque it down with the wrench, on the ratchet wrench. Again, hold it straight up. Don't tilt it or bend it. That's the only thing you could do to mess this up because it'll crack the head off of the spark plug if you do that wrong. Like I said, mine was a little loose last time. Maybe I didn't quite torque it enough. All right, that should be good. Then the uh, coil goes in, put the 10 millimeter bolt in. Just do it by hand so you don't cross thread it down as far as you can and tighten it with your ratcheting tool, your wrench. plug the electrical connection back in. All right, and that was done. Three more to go. I'm not gonna show you all the detail on those. Should be pretty straightforward. Oh, I do wanna show you the exact make and model of the plug that I got from Toyota in the past. In case you need that. Something else I want to point out is this rubber seal. It may remain on the cylinder head or it may go off with the coil, but either way, make sure it goes back down and straight because it seals water and moisture and anything that gets, might get in there from, uh, from getting in. Just be sure about that on all, all four of these. Another pointer and tip is that on these last two on the driver's side, this kind of gets in the way of the bolt. So you're going to have to keep this one off. Just make sure you know which one goes on which one. There, one's darker one's lighter and then you can do this last one all right so th this one goes on here all right and this one goes on here done Friendly reminder to check your oil while you're at it. Dipstick is right there. All right, let's test out the engine. The way you do that is just push on the accelerator all the way down. Smooth. 
And if you, if you want the uh, tachometer here, just go over to power mode. It's definitely smoother than before those replacements. I'm sure it needed it. Back to Eco. That's it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video if you got some value out of it. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Thanks.